The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Well, welcome back as the fall sports season comes to a close. A lot of football. Some of you may start to think of upcoming tournaments, travel plans, and the holidays. For athletes and parents, now's a really good time to think about recovery. And we have registered nurse Katrina Jensen here. And uh, recovery is vital when it comes to kids, isn't it? After a a big season of football or whatever sport they're yeah, playing. Yeah, fall soccer for, for ladies yep. is finished, um, lacrosse. But yeah, you know, Ron, there's so much pressure on parents for kids to get right into the next sport or to be doing more sport, more than one sport keep at a time. training for it. Yeah. Yes, and I think just the mind, the body, it needs to be uh, have a little vacation. So I guess the things you have to keep in mind, uh, I, I, Active recovery. So what would active recovery be? So, you know, the, the resting, the hydration, getting some more sleep because kids are always sleep deprived. Um, mm -hmm. Nutrition, you know, make sure that kids have a healthy snack with them when they're going to school, they're eating healthy lunches. Yeah, on this list here, so passive rest, what would that be? Just the rest, the downtime, sleep, more sleep. So take a little bit more you know, time. Relaxation, just, yeah. maybe some massage, some yoga, doing some other things. Mm -hmm. Hy hydration. You know, that, I guess that helps replenish the body. It, you know, hydration is always super important during training as well as after training because your mm -hmm. body needs the fluid to rebuild the cells. Right. Uh, nutrition, you got to eat right. Right. And then those low intensity workouts, things like a slow jog or a, a brisk walk or something that's different, maybe go swimming or something like that. I mean, just so that kids are doing something different and not overusing those same muscles that they're used to using in that particular sport and yeah. then getting ready for the next sport if they and go. And I think the tendency is you you want to keep working hard, you yes. know, getting bigger and stronger yeah. and faster, but... But you know what? Yeah. Sometimes taking a short break actually makes you better when you come yeah. back because you're more interested, you're more hungry, you're not burned out, etc. So it's, it's really important. And parents really have to ad advocate for their kids. I have to say that it's really difficult when the coaches are putting so much pressure on kids to yeah. be doing sports year round. And the parents to kind say, of follow up on that yes, too. Yes, and you know what? So we have to really talk to our kids and make sure that, gosh, they're, they do need a rest and they need to go out with their friends or they need to catch up on homework or whatever it is. So it, okay. you really have to take the stand for your your kids. Here's a website, intermountainhealthcare.org slash blogs. Is that what that is? I think the Tosh website, oh. too, the um, orthopedic hospital has great, all kinds of great sports programs for kids, including all this information on nutrition and rest and all that for kids okay. and adults. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Some Ron. Some great tips. Back to you, Mary.